Step 1. How to get the interview. Before you even get as far as being invited to an interview, you obviously have to make a big impression. Today, this not only means a winning resume and cover letter, but passing initial screening, which normally means looking you up on the internet. Before you start blasting out your resume to every job you can find, it is wise to give some thought to what is really the best use of your time. Would you rather apply to 500 jobs and not get any interviews, or apply to 20 and get five interviews for jobs you really want? This isn't necessarily about just applying for jobs that you are exceptionally well qualified for, or those directly in the field you have worked in for the last 10 years, but rather focusing on those where you can apply your skill set and the jobs that you are really passionate and excited about doing. Ask any savvy manager. Business owner or recruiter, and they will tell you that an employer would rather have someone with burning motivation than someone who just has experience on paper. Let this passion show through in your cover letter and resume and through the extra effort you put into targeting them specifically for the positions you are applying for. Tear up and burn your old resumes and cover letters right now. Sure, you could update them. But the formats have changed so much in recent years that anything less than a complete makeover will be seen as lazy and irrelevant. What should you do? Shred your old cover letters and resumes now. Create a well written and error free individual cover letter for each application. Draft a brand new resume focusing on your skills and real results you have achieved. Add color to your resume and turn it into a professional marketing piece. If you are applying for a $100,000 plus per year job, it is worth making an investment in your resume. Consider putting together a resume as a PowerPoint presentation or video resume. If you don't feel you are a great writer, then you can now easily outsource your resume writing to a freelancer online, very inexpensively. Make your resume stand out in the pile. And make sure it gets into the hands of those who matter. Most jobs these days are found online and are restrictive about what you can send, though this shouldn't stop you from going the extra mile to get noticed. How to stand out Why not mail your resume in a unique shape package or at least by overnight priority? If sending a physical resume, make sure it is on a high grade paper that stands out in the stack. If emailing, Look up a list of winning email subject lines and adapt them to make sure yours gets opened. Unfortunately, it is often who you know, not what you know. Find a way to connect with someone else in the company and get a referral or have them forward your resume. If you do this right, you may find that when you show up for your interview, you are already hired. With so many applicants today, there is no way for interviewers to see all of the qualified candidates. Recruiters and HR staff must screen applicants rigorously or face losing their own jobs. Credit ratings don't mean as much as they used to these days. After the global economic crisis, 90% of applicants have probably seen a big hit to their credit scores. But if you have great credit, shout about it. The most common way to screen candidates these days is by searching the internet and social media sites. This now even has its own name digging for digital dirt. A recent CNN report cites a new survey showing that over 45% of employers now use social media sites as a form of background checks. Perhaps even more shocking is that 35% of the employers in this survey said they commonly do not hire candidates based upon what they find out about them online. So, what is your online reputation saying about you? Type your name into Bing and Google to see what comes up. These are your new references. Are they going to get you hired or dumped in the trash? Take the time to clean up your social media profiles, and if you have any negative items coming up in search engines, contact someone who specializes in online reputation management. This shouldn't just be all about cleaning up the bad or slightly shady stuff, though. You can also use your social media and other online tools to position yourself as an even better candidate for the positions you are applying for. How to improve your chances of job seeking success. Adding new friends to your social networks that are either highly respected or influential in your industry, or are perhaps friends and co workers of your interviewer. Post your real accomplishments on your online profiles, including any awards you have received. 
use your profiles to portray yourself as already being successful and liked in order to position yourself as someone who will get along good in a new company and who deserves top dollar. Publish articles, press releases, and blog posts on topics that are current and relevant to your industry to increase your star power. 